right, people. Yeah, I know it's been slim pickings in the yard, man. But I was down here in South Dallas. And I knew this thing had just came in. So I thought I'd uh, stop by this yard and uh, check it out. I mean, uh, by the picture on it that I saw, it was, man, it was like nothing wrong with this car. At least not on the exterior. I mean, they, they, they beat it up pretty bad, I, I'd say. The yard did. I'll see if I can post a picture of it. It may be a little blurry, but you'll see what I mean. There was really no damage to it. 84, 1984 Cadillac Eldorado Biarritz. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. But, uh, the hood ornament was there. Welcome to the world of Cadillac. And uh, you can kind of see where the, uh, the yard, I guess they, they use the forklift to lift it up, bent the crap out of this hood. Grill don't look bad though. That bumper's got a few things in it I can see. This is the side I, I saw that uh, there was nothing wrong with the side. Nothing. Of course, you know, that was done here. Right there too. These have the uh, the stainless steel roof there. Let me get my umbrella, which you know, 104 degrees. It is hot here in Texas. I don't know where this is. This is Nash Bros. I can't quite make this bottom part out. I think this thing had quite a bit of options on it. Buckies. <laughs> now there's all your uh, all your codes for it and your VIN. Radios ditched up there. That air ride. Oh four of eighty four. Interior, mm, it's seen better days. You now, dash is cracked. Uh, what are we reading on the mileage here? Twenty one thousand. I'm gonna say uh, one hundred twenty one thousand. Three of the rest of the hubcaps, the other one's still on. I guess they couldn't get it off or what have you. Some people actually sat in the back of this one. I, I pulled that back seat and found about 85 cents. Quarters, nickels, and dimes. <laughs> I've made a vi I've made I have about three or four videos on these on these Eldos, you know. There's, you know, there, I, I don't uh, hide the fact that I'm not a fan of them. Never have been. Except the very first ones. I like the style of the very first ones. After that, ugh. But a lot of people like these. So, you know. No smoking, please. Check it out, man. This thing sold, and it sold uh, at a used car dealership. Right? Scribner Used Cars. 2016 in Oklahoma so somebody bought this car at a used car lot in Oklahoma what's that 16 7 8 9 20 21 2 23 seven years ago well, all right people my phone is overheating so let's uh, finish this thing up because uh, oh man I really didn't think it was gonna shoot overheat that quickly but Crap. It is. So under the hood we got that high technology engine, of course. Great engines they were. At least that's what I heard. Never owned one so. <laughs> But uh, I mean she's all here, you know. Everything's there. Everything seems to be in order. That's one thing I didn't know what this was here. I saw this light deal here. It was sitting right up 
right up right up front right here behind the grill as well as this sensor right there I'm not sure the sensor but uh, I had to look that up maybe somebody else can tell me what that sensor is for but um, this is supposedly for your auto dimming it's pretty neat I don't think I've seen those on the Cadillacs the Pretty much all there, man. I don't know if there's anything else I can show. Let's take a quick look underneath. I'd say it was pretty solid. Other than the interior, this car was a real nice car. The original white um, factory paint held up pretty decent. So. But nonetheless, here she is now in the yard, soon to meet that crusher. All right, people, it's gonna do her. It's like I said, it's probably 105, 106 degrees, and it is hot as hot as crap. All right, people, on to the next one.